And that's Summer Breeze. That's the latest song from my uh, latest CD called Sounds of Vunam. I put the link in the chat room. You can purchase the CD. They are ready. Actually, all three of them are on the site. Go to www.nikki, N-I-C-K-Y-L-O-V-E, W-U, and it's an N-C-A, and it's a Mary, dot com. So that's Nikki Love Wunam, dot com, and go to Nikki Love's musical CDs, and you'll find it there. That's from my latest CD again. That's called Summer Breeze. All right, family, are y'all ready? Y'all ready for these spiritual readings? I know a lot of people have on. You know what's, and you know what's the beautiful thing about a family? You know, you have relatives that pass. And, you know, you have unanswered questions that you have, and, you know, you don't know how you can communicate with them if you're not familiar with dealing with your ancestral, you know, uh, lineage and your people and stuff like that. And it's a beautiful thing when I'm able to help many of my clients, and this is what I've actually got gained popularity for, is ancestral readings, communicating with people's um, ancestors. So we're going to take it away because, wow, these lines are lit up. We're going to go to 720 first. 720, you on the air. State your name or where you're calling from. Hey, it's Cassandra. Yes, it's Cassandra. Peace. How you doing, Nikki? I'm good. How are you, Cassandra? I'm good, and I'm calling from Denver. Okay. And what's your question, and what's your ancestor's name that you want to com- communicate with? I want to communicate with my grandmother, Magnolia Smothers. Magnolia Smothers. What question do you have for her? Uh, what what is how um, how can I connect with her more? Let me ask you a and, question. Was your mm-hmm. was Magnolia? So did she wear two? It looked like she had two little braids that I'm seeing on the side of her head. She wore in the bun, like two little buns on the side of her head. Did she wear a lot of dresses? Yes. Okay. Okay. She was the sweetest thing. She was very sweet. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she talked like very soft spoken sometimes. But then also too she could she if you made a match she she would go off. <laughs> um Do you have an altar set up for her? Well uh, no. Okay. I'm gonna tell you that she walks with you. She walks with you on your left side, okay? Let me, um, another thing, did she crochet? Uh, no. I'm seeing something she did with her do hands. Quilts. She, was, she, did, she did do quilts, a lot of yeah, quilts. That's what I'm see- yeah, that's what I'm seeing her crocheting. I'm seeing her crocheting, okay? Okay, so she did crochet, okay. Um, she walks with you on your left side, okay? She wants you to communicate with. She hears you, and you need to talk with her, okay? Um, You also need to set up an altar for her, okay? Okay. And you need to put a picture there, leave water there for her and a candle, and you can communicate with her there sometime as well. But, you know, when you're laying down at night, I want you to communicate with her. And she just explained to me she will come to your dreams. She'll communicate with you through your dreams. You're not ready to see her yet. You would be startled if you've seen her. Okay. It looks like she's eating something. She likes, I don't know if it looks like cornmeal or cornbread, something she likes to eat all the time. That would be the hot water cornbread. <laughs> that would be the hot water cornbread? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what her spirit is. That's what, that's what her spirit is showing me. Okay. Okay. Well, she said she will communicate with you through your dreams, but you're not ready to feel her presence yet. Okay, but you can set up an altar for her, and I think you should get her some hot water cornbread, okay? Because <laughs> that's what she likes. <laughs> okay. Okay, and what's your, you have another question for her? That, uh, that, that answer it, because the next would be, well, what kind of offering should I make? And you tell me the hot water cornbread. Okay, okay. There you have it. Give her that offering and go to your altar from time to time and speak with her. But she is going to come to you through your dreams, so she definitely walks with you. And your grandmother Great. was very intuitive, too. She she was very intuitive. She can see as well. 
she had a very uh, powerful gift to see. Mm-hmm. She was like the one that if she said something, it was going to happen. That's what I see with her. Exactly. That's how mm-hmm. she was. Okay. All right. Okay. So well, there you have it. Great. You have it. How, do you listen to the show? What is your name again? Cassildra. Cassildra. Do you listen to the show all the time? Um, not, well, not as often as I would like, but I do catch it. Okay. All right. I just wanted to put it out there because people will need to know this stuff is very real. And I don't know you from Adam, and I asked you that question for a reason, so people can know that this is real. They do communicate with us spiritualists. Okay, Cassidy, but thank you for being a listener when you are. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. You have a good night. You too. Take care. Peace. Peace. Okay, we have, we're going to go to 518. 518, you are on the air. Good evening. Good evening. This is Dorothy calling from Albany, New York. How are you, Nikki? Dorothy, how are you? Blessings, how are you? I'm doing okay. Okay, it's it's too... (laughs) I'm kind of like, I don't know if I would, you know, my mother or my granny. Hmm. Let's see. My grandmother been gone the longest, so... My grandmother's name is Dorothy Hicks Parnell. Dorothy Hicks Parnell. Parnell, And you said she's been gone the longest. But I don't know, oh, well, but, my spirit, my, my, but my spirit is saying you really want to talk to your mom, but your mom, you know, has a message for you. Okay. All right. Lily, Lily May Armstrong. Lily my mother. May Armstrong. Armstrong. Yes. How long has your mother been passed? It's not too long, has it? Uh, 2000, September 10, 2009. 2009? Yes. Hmm. Your mother, she, your mother misses you very well, uh, very much as well. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I was her baby, so I can. Yeah, I know. I see that she misses you very much. She worries about you as well. Um, you favor your mother a lot. People say she. I'm a lighter version of her. Mhm, 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 mhm. She's another one that's saying she wants you to take care of your health. Have you been stressing lately? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And she wants you to call upon her. She's saying she wants you to call upon her. She said you because she's there to guide you and help you. Are you going to do any problems with a man right now? Yes. Okay. She sees that. All right. This is what she's worried about. She wants you to pretty much, you know, call upon her. She's there to guide you. She's going to help you. Okay? Um, okay. And she's worried about you, you know, stressing and having to deal with the situation on your own. But she says she's there. She wants you to call upon her. And she's going to definitely help you, okay? Okay. Okay, you have another question for her? Um. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I, yeah. I, 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 I want to know, if she, does she, see, I don't know. I've never had a, a you know, this. Is I, I called him back, you know, talked to you before, but I've never had an ancestor reading, so I'm not even sure what to ask, actually ask her. Okay, just basically what we do is communicate with them and just give a message from what I hear her telling me, okay? And that the ancestor reading is basically, you know, tapping into your ancestor spirits and communicating with them for you, okay? So is there, like, any question, like, as far as, like, is going to be something general, or is it just, I mean, I just want to, like, are they able to see stuff, or is it basically, like, just... No, they can see everything. They can see everything that you cannot see, my sister. They can see everything you can't see, you know? No, I just, I just want to know, like, if she, you know, what would she tell me to, like, pursue as far as my career? You know, I know she's, like, always, like, she was, like, my number one cheerleader, um, yeah, and I would want to know what would she say that she would recommend that I do. Well, what she's saying is that she wants you to begin healing and talking to other women that are going mm-hmm. through similar situations as yourself. Okay. Okay. Um, you're very good at that. 
and you also have the ability to, you know, help people heal. Like, I don't know if it's your friends or your family that comes to you, but you have a way of communicating with them where you actually help them heal and come up with solutions. She wants you to continue on that journey, and she says she's going to guide you on that journey as well. That sounds just about right. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank okay. You. I forgot. I, you know what? I, I remember briefly when you called in, and it's been a while, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, has, how lately, I, it's late, lately, I haven't, you know, the times I've called, I haven't been able to get through the line. I don't know if something was my, you know, like last, like maybe five to seven attempts, I haven't been able to get through. So, yeah, we get a lot of call. I get a lot of callers. A lot of people were calling, and a lot of people listening to the show, which is a blessing because we're able to enlighten more people. So, yes, yeah. So I briefly remember. You know, I read so many people and deal with so many people. I have to get, you know, but I do remember your voice kind of. How's your children? You have children, right? Yes, they're doing well. Okay. They're doing well. They're doing okay. well. Okay. And I just wanted to um, communicate yeah. with her more. And if you want to communicate with her, you. Talk to her before you go to sleep and allow her to come in your dreams, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. We're going to go to 571. 571, state your name and where you're calling from. Um, Annette McNeil, calling from Alexandria, Virginia. Okay. I, I can hardly hear you. Your phone sounds a little bit muffled. Okay. What is your first um, name again? Annette McNeil, calling from Alexandria, Virginia. Okay, Annette. Alexandria from Virginia. Okay, what's your question and what's your ancestor's name? My ancestor's name is Viola Moultrie, and um, she's my grandmother. And um, my question is, um, uh, um, I have so many questions, but I've been going around in circles. I need help. Um, Family is very important to me, and um, I have some issues in my family. And I just need to know what I'm doing wrong. I do have an altar set up for my ancestors. And just want to know, can she guide me and help me? Okay. This, now let me ask you a question. Your grandmother has some very prominent features, almost like American Indian. And it looks like she wore her hair back. It was mostly white, but it was, she wore it back in a ponytail. Is that correct? Not my grandmother. Um, my her name is Viola Moultrie. Um, uh, she never actually had a ponytail. Go back. I, I do not. Not that I know. I'm seeing her. I'm seeing. I'm seeing a woman sitting on your right side. I mean, this is point, and her hair's going back. It looks like it was, you know, back all mostly white, but it like she wore a bun. It, it was like her, you know, was wrapped. I don't know if it was, you know, like a bun that you put on the hair, but she wore a bun, but she has very prominent features, almost like she looks like the American Indian, but she had chinky eyes, and she was brown skin. It looks like I'm seeing moles on her face. Yeah, she had like little black moles on her face, she's um, smiling all the time, you know, she, she, she was like reddish, light brownish skin, yes. yes. Like that, right, okay. All right, now, you know, when we see in spirit, when I see spirits, and I want to explain this to us in the audience, we get these bits and pieces. Sometimes I can get future tense of them. I can get past tense of them. I like to be honest and let people know. So it could be a time when she did have her hair in a ponytail. She didn't wear it like that anymore. What I'm seeing is a clear picture of her. Now I see the moles on her face. She's like a brown skin, but it's, like you said, it's a reddish tone to her skin, but I see the moles on her face. And she has like a, you know, very strong features I'm seeing in, on her on her face. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, now, in reference to your question, you want to know what's going on with your family. Myself as well. I feel like I see I'm, I'm always going in circles, and uh, I, I communicate with her uh, uh, at times, and I get frustrated, frustrated because I don't get, I, uh, I don't feel, I don't get any juice from anything. So I want to know what I need to do to, for myself to be more receptive. Well, you know, I want to tell you this, um, and I'm going to say this, Annette, right? It's Annette, right? Um, yes, it sometimes is. we have that everybody's not a seer, everybody's not a hearer, everybody's not <clears throat> psychic, everybody's not the ability to communicate with spirit, okay? And, okay. you know, um, you know, just because you're not hearing it, maybe not supposed to. 